About 90% of our students are on free or reduced lunch, and that's pretty much an indicator of how many are at or below the poverty line. So you're thinking on average, our families are making under $30,000 for a family of four. You can imagine how tight things would be to pay for extra food and by the end of the month being able to have enough to support your families would be challenging. In addition to the poverty, some students are refugees adapting to a new country. Were you born in Utah? No. Where were you born? Somalia. Where were you born? Thailand. Others have a crisis at home. My teacher, Mr. Shire, she told us that mom went to jail then after they had to steal food and and like they've been hungry then then they didn't got like clothes to wear. Students try to put on a brave face. It's an uncomfortable, it's a sensitive subject. You never want to seem different than your peers. That's really important. Unable or unwilling to say the painful truth, the tension forces some kids to face away from the camera, others to rock back and forth, or just lapse into silence and nod. There's some kids at this school who miss meals sometimes on the weekend or over the summer. You're nodding, you know about this. Yeah. Are there some hungry kids here who are missing meals? Yeah. Have you ever had to miss a meal? Um, no. Some of your friends? Yes, yeah, some of them. Have you ever had to skip a meal? Um, yeah. Have you ever had to miss some meals? You ever been hungry? Yes. Have you ever had to? Uh, yeah. Have you ever missed meals? Have you ever had to skip meals one day? Yes. Have you ever had to skip a meal yourself? Yes. What was that like? Um, uh... Not that great. It's hard to not to feel hungry because you kind of feel like sick. You don't have any food, you don't get to cook nothing, and all you do is just sit around. My stomach hurts. Stomach growling, aching a little bit. Pretty good to get back to school and get back to breakfast and lunch and at, at school. So the teachers end up with a lot of behavioral issues because kids haven't had enough protein, they haven't had enough food, the blood sugar's crashing. Unfortunately, that is often the case. We'll have teachers coming to us saying, can you please make sure that this family is taken care of because they're going to be taking naps during my class, they're not going to be able to concentrate, they're just going to be thinking about their next meal and just have that additional stress on their shoulders. The kids who aren't suffering see their friends struggle. Can you see it in some of your classmates when they haven't been eating? Most definitely. How do you know? You could just tell they're not working very well, you know, they're, they're always thinking about something else. They just can't focus? Yeah. yeah. The damage is not confined to the hungry kids. How did that story leave you feeling? Sad.